Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Yes, as I make this video, it is Thanksgiving Day. I saw the movie Thanksgiving, but I didn't see it on Thanksgiving Day. I saw it when it opened about a week ago, and I was saving it till today to upload this review. This review will be spoiler-free, so don't have to worry about spoilers if you didn't see the movie. However, I am going to tell you the plot of it, and the plot is not a spoiler at all, so don't worry about that. Let me tell you something. Uh, I'll say from the top that uh, Thanksgiving was really a good, solid slasher movie, if you like that sort of thing. And I would say it's now one of my all-time favorite slasher films. It rivals any of the great slasher films from the 80s, the late 70s, whatever you want to say. This one is at the top, or near the very top, of my favorites list. So let me tell you how I feel about that right away. Well, going into Thanksgiving, I always wondered how they could possibly write a script around there. Like, what would be the motivation for a killer? Why would a killer want to kill people on Thanksgiving? I always thought, well, that's a, that's a movie that never had been done, although director and co-writer Eli Roth, whose work I like a lot of the time, um, you know, he had a, a kind of teaser, funny trailer like this way back in the Grindhouse movie era. It was like a, a, a faux uh, would-be trailer for a, a film that might might be produced at some later time it was a joke really this is no joke this movie okay and i like the idea that that was finally uh arrived at for how to get a motivation for the, the killer it turns out that the story takes place a year ago a year before the movie um on thanksgiving evening late at night after all the festivities are done after all the dinners and turkeys have been swallowed you know they have what you know as black friday you know the black friday store sales this is something they've been doing in the last few years where places like walmart or these uh best buy or these department stores are open late on thanksgiving evening um to, so you can get a waffle iron or a microwave oven or a tv set or whatever the heck you want and of course we get all these low lives these people that are I don't know what possesses people to go on Black Friday. You're taking your life in your hands when you do that. And that's the case here at the beginning of the movie Thanksgiving. It takes place on a Thanksgiving night, very late at night, or you might call it early Black Friday, when one of the stores are open. And uh, there's mobs of people outside, you know, fighting to be the first one to get in to get their item, what they want to get, you know, the usual crowd of savages trying to get in, and they can't be contained. Finally, everybody bursts into the store, like, of course, uh, a bunch of swarming bugs, and they all get into there, and there's casualties. Uh, people get trampled. People die. Uh, there's uh, a lot of gross uh, scenes in there of people that uh, don't survive a Black Friday sale, okay? But the thing is, um, one of the women who were killed in this movie uh, is a housewife who gets killed, and uh, her husband is greatly, greatly, of course, uh, devastated by her loss. Anyway, well, that's what happens at the beginning of the movie. That sets up the scenario because a year later on Thanksgiving, I guess it's Thanksgiving today, 2023, a year later on Thanksgiving, there's a killer going around that wants revenge. Um, we don't know exactly why. Is it, is it for the death of the wife? Is it for the death of somebody else, maybe, that was killed? A few people were killed there. We don't know who the killer is, you see. We have no idea why he's doing this. But this killer, on the, the following Thanksgiving, winds up getting into a pilgrim outfit and wears a face mask of uh, John Carver and uh, goes around with an axe as his favorite uh, weapon of choice. Goes around hacking up a lot of people who were involved in that black friday store massacre and wants revenge on them for some reason and some of them are of course uh, older people some of them of course are uh younger people their teens i guess uh 20s you know the usual slasher formula of the young people that are in the way now i want to say first of all the lead girl in this and i don't know how to say her, her name the actress exactly her last name nell verlock she is gorgeous, drop-dead gorgeous in my opinion, but that's not all. She is a very strong, tough, smart, final girl. She's the girl that kind of like, you know, winds up being, a, you know, all these films have this, the slasher films, the last girl, the survivor, the one that really is the one that takes care of the villain. 
she is fantastic. We also have uh, Rick Hoffman in here as the uh, the store owner who's married to the woman who gets killed, or the wife that gets killed. And uh, I also was very surprised, I didn't know going in this, to see some guest appearances by Gina Gershon, who's in here, and also Patrick Dempsey, who plays as a sheriff. The, the sheriff is the guy that tries to unravel this mystery, and he tries to uh, help out the kids and everything. And uh, yeah, the, the actual killing methods here are very, very good. I mean, I say the axe is the weapon of choice, but he, the killer doesn't just rely on an axe. He uses implements from Thanksgiving, and you can figure that out, you know. Uh, things like a Thanksgiving uh, turkey timer, you know, ba you know, basting tools. Um, I don't know what you call those things, those little corn on the cob things that they go into the cob to hold it, goes into people's ears. I mean, this is very, very much delivering the goods, if you like this sort of thing. The kills are really good. Um, uh, they were intense. And I also like that they get right down to it. You don't have a lot, you know, these films have a lot of like, you know, stalking around and people think they hear something and they look and there's nobody there and you're kind of waiting, right? Let's get it over with already. There's not, there's some of that tension, but it doesn't get prolonged. You don't see too much of that tension going on. We're just sitting there waiting. <sighs> Let's go. Where's the killer? You know, it pretty much goes pretty, pretty quick and you don't have to wait too, too long for that. Which is, which is really nice. There's not a lot of fake jump scares. Every time you watch these movies, it's like, oh, oh it's you. I thought, oh, you scared me. I thought you were the killer. Oh, the cat jumps in. Oh, it's only my cat. Oh, my the cat jumps into the frame. None of the, you know, it's really well handled, you know. And I also like the, the music. I don't usually notice music. These days when I go to films, I don't notice music. I mean, when I used to go to movies like The Exorcist or Jaws or Rosemary's Baby or Planet of the Apes or whatever, you would notice the soundtrack. These days, the soundtrack goes right over my head. But there were some ominous sounds in here, music. I liked some of the music in here, very much so, I got to say. Uh, great job all around. You see, the thing is, um, as uh, it's also a whodunit, this film, I should mention. We don't know who's doing this, and at the end, the reveal of who who done it. I, I didn't see it coming, and I absolutely found it very satisfying to find out, you know, who who was the killer all this time. I actually uh, was surprised by it, um, and the music, which I said I don't really like, complements all these this, the carnage. It's it's perfect. Yeah, I don't know what else I can say about the movie Thanksgiving. If it was being rated as a slasher film, I would give this four stars out of four. Four out of four stars for a slasher film. I'd give it easily a three three stars out of four for a, just a general horror movie. So, you know, yeah, uh, see it. If you, if you like this kind of movie, if you like, you know, Halloween, Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, Jason from Friday the 13th, you cannot miss this, okay? Well done.